one of the accusations now, which they put in their, in their report of, I think, 17 reasons, is that I forced my way into Iyala when the president of Kenya visited Arusha. I want to assure you today that I was invited. But again, you're saying you're disappointed by government, the way this whole yes. thing has been handled. I mean, I've got a feeling the president should be given a benefit of no doubt. Maybe he was handling it diplomatically. But the people in Iyala actually slighted him. He told them, don't do this. They went ahead and did it. That's, what, that's my feeling. I think he should have realized that these people did not want a diplomatic approach. They preferred a different type of approach. And I think eventually he has to come out because what they have done now cannot be left on record. You know why? Because the future speaker will never have any powers to run that house. He will be controlled by a group of people who blackmail him directly. And in fact, I've asked my lawyer to take up, to take up this case in court of defaming my name. And I want it done next week. And I'm accusing certain people for doing it. Captain Babu wanted to understand this, uh, the conflicts and the row between uh, members or legislators within Yala. It has been going on for some time. If, if, if someone would want to understand why are you coming out now to complain and uh, say out your sentiments or dissatisfaction in terms of how the party is treating your wife. No, because a lot of effort was made to try and reconcile the different groups. The reconciliation did not take place, they refused.